spells, at least in wintry showers. This cold plunge has certainly uh, worked its way through. And you look at the cloud, you can see this is the milder air that will come in for the weekend, but there's the cold plunge. And can you see how the cloud is sort of bitty, like bubbly, like throwing lump lumps of uh, plaster at the map? That's the very cold air that's been diving down across the British Isles. That big strip of white, that is our weather system, brought the wet and windy weather. But these lumps to our west, they'll... Uh, Give us a few of these showers through the afternoon. As uh, the heavier ones come in, they might be perhaps wintry. Finishing numbers, six to eight, so below where we should be. We should be into double figures. Then we go through the course of the night and watch these lumps to our west. They bring in the showers, particularly to the southwest, and look at that frost. And temperatures well below freezing for many of us. But it's across the southwest parts of England where we might just want to sort of have a, a bit of an eye, particularly if you're out in the car or in the morning hours. Watch for this little lump here. Uh, we're watching from, say, Devon, Cornwall, right the way along the southern counties, maybe as much as five centimetres over the higher ground. And a quick covering is not out of the question. Maybe to the Isle of Wight, southwest England, watch for that. But then we start the day and you see bright skies. But a chilly start, so you, you might be out there with the scraper and uh, certainly with the extra layers. If you run north from London up through the uh, Midlands, uh, maybe the odd uh, shower here and there. You see this haze of blue? That's the cold, frosty start. The other one is across parts of Scotland. You can see it here. This will also give maybe a covering of snow, maybe to lower levels across Scotland, perhaps rain on the coast, then coming west to parts of Northern Ireland. Just the southern extent of it, a few wintry showers. And watch for a few icy spots on the roads where we see the wet weather from Northern Ireland, even to southwest parts of England too. Wales looks fine, and to southwest England. After that, eases away. It's a, it'll be a bright but a chilly start, certainly uh, extra layers in hand. So that first little troublemaker there, that lump of colour there, he'll ease away. The other one over Scotland just sort of fizzles out through the day. Then it's bright skies, almost like today really, a chillier sort of day, maybe one or two wintry showers. And our finishing numbers, six, seven, eight, we might squeeze a nine towards, say, Cardiff as we finish off the afternoon. Then we uh, slowly lose this cold arch of air, sitting there in place, what's left of that little weather front, and then watch what happens. We ease it away, and then we bring in this next weather system from the west. So that sort of just ushers it away after a cold, frosty start. Friday looks uh, fine. Might see a, perhaps a few wintry showers on the leading edge of that rain, coming in from the west, 9 to 10 to maybe even 11. And then the weekend, well, the wet weather comes in from the Atlantic, so it's wet for Saturday. I think, if anything,